let's now look at question eight, um, which says um, uh, a conic section has eccentricity e is equal to three over two center three comma two and one equation of the directrix given by x is equal to five over three. So the good part about this is that you are given the eccentricity, and that is what is going to help us to answer the question eight a, which is asking us to identify. So question eight a is asking us to identify. And we are we're just going to use the eccentricity e is equal to uh, three over three over two. Okay. So this is simply um, this is simply uh, what value is there? That's going to be one point five actually. So we find that eccentricity is equal to one point five, which is greater than one. And if the eccentricity is greater than one, that's a hyperbola. So we have answered question eight a, which is um, we find that it's a hyperbola here. Okay, hyperbola. Then what about question 8b? So question 8b uh, is saying write down the equation of the uh, conic section. So to write down the uh, equation of the conic section, we have to understand that on top of us being given eccentricity to be equal to 3 over 2 and the center to be 3 comma 2 and one equation for the directrix which is equal to x is equal to uh, 5 over 5 over 3. So the fact that the directrix cuts the x-axis, meaning this is oriented on the x-axis, and the equation that we are going to use is simply um, x minus h, since it's not centered at the origin, we say squared divide by a squared, um, that would be minus y minus k squared divide by b squared is equals to 1. So now, we already have a value of h and a value of k, we just have to find our value of, value of, um, value of a and our value of b. So, how I find the value of A and the value of B is pretty simple. Since eccentricity has been given as 3 over 2, of which this is simply C over A, like, like that. So, it tells, us at, it tells us to say our C is equal to 3, meaning C squared is equal to 9. So, my A is equal to 2, meaning A squared is equal to 4. So, remember to say for the hyperbola, C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared, of which... I can find my b from what I have. So your b squared is just going to be equal to c squared minus a squared. Your c squared is 9 minus your a squared, which is a 4. So your c squared is going to be equal to, sorry, your b squared actually. Uh, your b squared is just going to be equal to 5. So you now have your standard equation, uh, which is x minus, what's your h? is a 3 squared divided by a squared, which is a 4 minus so we're going to say our y minus our k which is a 2 is squared divided by b squared which is a 5 is equals to 1 so this is what we have right here okay so that's the standard equation that that we are supposed to um it's like we are basically answered question 8b okay so let's look at everything anything else that comes after this um so the question says Find the center, focus or foci, vertex or vertices, directrix or directrices for the conic section. So um, <clears throat> I'm going to have to find those, uh, but I won't read the graph because I've done a lot of graphing already. So I'm just going to give you the details that you need, then you can go ahead and uh, make a sketch for yourself. Okay, so since this is oriented on the x-axis, the focus, okay, the focus here is just going to have the coordinates h plus or minus c comma k so i'll say f my h is what is a 3 okay plus or minus c our c is a 3 as well because we found that our c squared was equals to 9 meaning c was equals to positive or negative 3 that's what i have there then comma k which is a 2 so here um it's evident that my f1 focus 1 is going to be at 3 minus as uh, 3 which is 0 comma 2 then my f2 is going to be at 3 plus 3, which is a 6, comma 2 there. Okay, let's now determine the vertices. So the, for the vertices, remember we see oriented on the x-axis. Um, this is going to be h um, plus or minus a, comma k, like that. Okay, so this tells us to say my v is going to be... <coughs> My V is going to be um, my H, which is a 3, plus or minus A, which is uh, my A is a 2. We get our A from there. So that's our A squared. So A, a is going to be equal to square root, uh, plus or minus 2. So our K is also a 2 there. So 
our v1 is going to be 3 minus 2 which is a 1 comma 2 then our v2 is going to be at 3 plus 2 which is a 5 comma 2 that's what we have okay so you can also decide to, to come up with your core vertices so for the core vertices they are going to be on the y-axis meaning you're going to have your h comma k plus or minus b okay so which core vertices here your h is a 3 comma your k which is a 2 plus or minus b which is the square root of 5 because that's what your b squared there is going to be so your cv1 is uh, 3 comma 2 minus the square root of 5 you can you can find what that, what, what that one is equal to then your cv2 is going to be at 3 comma uh, 2 plus the square root of 5 okay do we have anything else that we have to find we have to find the uh, so to find the equation you also have to find the asymptotes this is the hyperbola by the way <coughs> so you're going to say y minus um, y minus k will be equals to plus or minus b over a open bracket x minus h this is what is going to give you what the uh, <coughs> the asymptotes so you're going to have y minus k which is a 2 is equals to plus or minus uh, plus or minus plus or minus uh, b b over b over a our b is the square root of 5 divided by our a which is a 2 okay then we have your x minus your h which is your 3 so this is just going to be y is equals to uh, plus or minus the square root of 5 divided by 2 then you have your x minus 3 plus 2 like that so this is the uh, these are the, that's where you're going to get the equation of the the equations of the asymptotes there are two of them one has a plus the other one has a minus so you have y is equals to plus or minus square root of 5 divided by 2 multiplied by x minus 3 plus 2 okay do we have anything else that we can find we already have the center given there um, perhaps we can also as well find the um, do we have to find the the directrix uh, already we already given one okay we uh, we were already given one then yeah this one here right here so you can use the details that I've given which is the focus the vertices the core vertices you have already have the center there you have the eccentricity you have the directrix there equations of the asymptotes and you can graph that one and that's how you answer question eight okay so let's look at uh, question question nine it says the, it says the cable of um, is the cable of a suspension bridge is suspended between two towers okay between two towers uh, that are 200 meters apart and 75 meters high if the cable at its lowest is 15 meters above the bridge what is the height of the cable from <coughs> from the bridge at uh, 40 meters from the center so here's how we do it <coughs> excuse me here's how we do it so I can try to create a, a rough sketch for it to give us like a picture of what we are talking about so here let me say this is a bridge let me say this is a bridge right here um, a bridge like that then let me say <coughs> I have towers like let me say I have one like this well, let me just put straight poles more like uh, these are uh, vertical vertical poles something like that I'll still st st see them as towers anyway. It's just to give us a picture of how this one is. Okay, so we are told that these are 200 meters apart. Okay, they are 200 meters apart. So it's like between them from this point to that point, like that. Okay, so this is 200 meters. From this point to that point, we have 200 meters. Then um, the height um, the height like from this point to that point it's um, we are told that it's 75 we are told that it's 75 
is it 75 meters okay yeah we are told that is 75 so here we have 75 meters then another important information we are given um, is that we are told that if the cable at its lowest is 15 meters above the bridge what is the height of the cable so we are if 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 you draw if, if I try to observe here the cable is just more like it's uh it's parabolic okay in the sense that it comes to be something like this to be something like that okay so we are told let me just try to do draw it again something like that so I'm told that at the lowest point just at the lowest one it's more like at the turning point of the cable the turning point of the graph in this case it's um it's 15 meters above the the bridge like this is the bridge right here okay this is the bridge like this one here so like from this point to that point we are told that it's 15 meters that is 15 meters so we're supposed to find the height of the bridge like 40 meters from the what from the cent from uh, the center so it's more like at this point that's where you have your center so it's more like you are going from this point to that point let's say for example this right here is what is 40 meters okay so you're trying to find what your what your height is like more more like something what you the, what you have at that point okay so let's see how we how we do this one so since this is parabolic, um, we know that the equation is just going to be x squared is equals to uh, 4, 4 py. Okay, 4 py. So let me try to determine what um, let me try to determine what my p is from the information that I already have at this point. Okay. So considering the fact that I've been given 200 here. Okay, so let me try to see what my p is at that point. It's like I'm, I'll try to determine what my p is at some just some random points. Then I see what I'm going to get. So let me try to pick this point. Let me say this is point A. I want to find what my p is uh, at point A. At point A, let's determine what our p is. So it simply means like if I if I cut like this here, this side is just going to be a hundred. 100 meters because I just divide from the 200 so I'll come and say it's 100 squared is equals to 4 times the y so the y at this point is what is 75 that is 75 okay multiplied by uh, multiplied by p okay so this is just going to be uh, like p will be equals to um, 100 squared uh, which is uh, 10,000 okay which is a 10,000 divide by um, 4 multiplied by 75 which gives me um, which gives me 300 okay so that can go and that can go so you're simply saying uh, 100 100 divided by 3 uh, giving me P to be equals to um, 83.33 uh, that's what you get so we are saying 100 squared, let me just try to redo it, divide by 4 times 75. Yeah, that's what we get as our P. So now, we can come back and say now, as our, our, to first now to determine what our, our height is going to be, it's more like you determine what your Y is equal to. So your Y is just going to be equal to the X squared divided by the 4P. Okay, so the P remains constant at any point on what? On this graph here. So this is just going to be equals to. So your x now is not going to be hundred. It's going to be what? It's going to be um. It's going to be forty. So you say forty squared divided by four times three point uh, thirty three point three three like that. It's equals to. So you say forty squared. I get uh sixteen hundred, which is one thousand six hundred, divided by um. That is four multiplied by uh, three, thirty-three point three three. Um, I get something like one hundred and thirty-three point three three, and it just keeps on going. Just a three bar like that. So you are saying sixteen hundred 
divide by 133.33 and I end up with uh, the height that I have is is, um, is 12 meters okay it's 12 meters so to confirm this um, let me just try to redo it again if I say 40 squared divide by um, say 40 squared divide by um, that is divide by 4 multiply by multiply by 33.33 three, yeah I get 12 so let me try to confirm this by um, since I have the other the other distance is it's more like I've used up a hundred okay I've used up um, a hundred um, and I found that my distance y is equals to is equals to 12 meters let me try to see um, what I can get um, what I can get if I look at the other part which is a 60 uh, so from this side so if you look at um, if you look at the distance uh, 40 like the distance 100 from the center okay 100 from the center like you get you get the height you are, that you get is 75 then we have observed to say like if we at 100 the height that we get is 75 okay what if we are at 40 okay what if we are at 40 this might not really seem to make uh, some sense um, let me see so if you say 40 okay so but this is basically all we need to do it's just to when you find your P which is this one then from this P that you have it's just more like this is going to be constant at any point so here what you're looking for is what your Y is <coughs> okay so you just come here and instead of putting 100 here then you put you just you just come and make y the sub of the formula by saying y is equals to um, x squared divided by the 4p okay which is equals to you just say 40 okay that's going to be 40 squared divided by 4 multiplied by 33.33 and this is going to give you um, the 12 <coughs> excuse me the 12 meters which is this one here and that's how we answer that question.